My name is Alastair Boot. I'm a Harper Adams Agriculture graduate, but returned as a lecturer and now heavily involved in industrial placements for students at the university. And James and I were just talking off camera. One of the, one of the USPs, the unique selling point of Harper, is the industrial placement periods. Am I correct? I think you are. And um, I think it goes right back to our heritage originally as an agricultural college. But actually, we've applied it to all our courses and uh, kept a real focus on placements. Other universities are including it, but they're very frequently making it optional. It's always been a compulsory part yeah. of our undergraduate it, it, it's, it's courses. It's just the making of the, of the graduates. I can speak from, from experience at Ex-Harper that with, with my, my placement, it was the absolute making with me sandwiched between the two elements of, 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 um, of Harper. And I can see that with all of my, um, my colleagues and peers who did the, did the same, same thing. It is the, I can't endorse that enough. It's the absolute making of it. Do you know, it's got absolutely universal support, uh, real commitment uh, long term from senior leaders and staff at the university. We've got employers coming to us all the time asking for uh, our students because the students bring youth and vitality, new ideas. Yep. Um, they also, the employers also tell us over and over again that it is fantastic for them to be able to give back to be able to support the development yep. of the next generation coming into their sector. Yep. And the reason why uh, students tell us over and over again about the value of it is because it helps them get the best new job um, when they graduate yep. and also to be a step ahead of others yep. in their graduate uh, career. So all, um, whether it's staff, students and employers, yep. all are big fans of the placement I, I, I mean, Me with my recruitment hat on, I've seen it so many times that uh, when you look at the CV or when I've been chairing meetings and then uh, the, the potential employer says, oh, Harper Adams, and you did your placement year at XYZ. Oh, tell us about, uh, about that placement year. And that placement year is becoming more and more important because there's such a shortage of, of talent out there. There's so many employers who are, who are now adopting this, uh, this phraseology of grow your own. So if they can get a really good um, one or, or perhaps yeah. a, a number of placement students yeah. from Harper Adams, they could see how good they are in that, that year. I'm then so, saying to them, well, why didn't you look to sponsor them for the, so I might be um, uh, segueing over, over here, but why didn't you sponsor that individual on the thesis on your business? Because you're going to get this uh, fantastic report. And then I'm then seeing that those, those companies are then offering those individuals to come and work for them because they've been so impressed with them to grow your own. Uh, and actually, there are no guarantees, of course, but it does happen very frequently, not only in terms of turning a placement employee into a graduate in the business, but as you say, it also provides links into the university. The student themselves should bring the latest learning from their first uh, generally first two years yeah. of university, but then it can link into, as you say, other elements of research and access to yeah. university knowledge. And I've, I've got two examples of my age group that they've one did a placement year to, at a grain company. He's now the chairman of that grain company. Another individual did his yeah. placement year within a rice business. He's now running a rice business in Delhi. Just you, you can't you can't uh, make it up. But are we being parochial because we're in lovely Newport, Shropshire? Are we just looking for placement students of I don't know 25 mile radius of, of Newport, or, or are we looking further afield, Alistair? Let me just build on your uh, earlier uh, okay. comment first. Um, that uh, success of placement uh, and watching people grow in their uh, businesses and their graduate career, of course, it then feeds back into more employers. But it's absolutely the, the pleasure I take from being involved with placements. You asked about 25 miles within uh, Newport, leading question, uh, Max, but no, of, of course not. We've got lots of uh, UK employers seeking our uh, placement students. Yep. However, we're a global university and we want that to be reflected even more in terms of our placement employment. So we're particularly looking now for more international placement employers. Well, well said, and I'm lucky enough to be well, well traveled in the lights of America and, uh, and Africa. And I know so many agriculture and fresh produce businesses that would love, would absolutely love to, yep. to have, have some British expertise in the form of Harper students yep. coming. So if anyone's uh, watching on an international basis and you don't quite understand how this, this all works, the placement period uh, works and how it could be a benefit to you, come and have a, a conversation with Alice and his colleagues because it will, it, will just, it will just make your business further sing to have that in intellectual horsepower coming in for Harper Adams. Um, absolutely. Uh, the uh, employers, if they're interested, should understand a few things about placement. It's really important to us that visas allowing their year-long placements, yep. uh, they're paid, that even yep. if the uh, students are international um, uh, placed, 
that the uh, health and safety and insurance should be the equivalent of uh, UK standards, but all of that uh, can be discussed. Yeah. It's also really important for employers to understand that this year is part of the undergraduate learning for a student. Yeah. So giving the student of um, uh, good stretching learning opportunities, giving them lots of uh, constructive feedback and working with the university because it's part of the degree uh, mm. will uh, be important. But I should say one of the key differences about a year-long placement compared to a shorter internship is that the employee, the student, will also deliver value back to yeah. uh, the uh, to the business. Yep. Parents, um, I went to an event this weekend where there was a, a parent who's got two boys at Harper and, and they're, they're having a, a great time and absolutely flying. Uh, uh, there was another parent with a, with a daughter who's just of the age, who's looking at a couple of universities and is contemplating Harper. I was explaining that I was going to meet you and we were going to be talking about placements yeah. and he didn't know what a placement was. And he said, how's that going to be a benefit um, to me? So we've, we've understood it for the employer, for a parent, come on, because yeah. those parents are, um, are very, uh, they're, they're a big steer for, for yeah. those um, for, for those kids, they want to see how is that going to be a benefit for um, that individual, that student Absolutely. coming here on a parent Absolutely. perspective, please. Um, and I'm a parent of uh, two undergraduates uh, <laughs> as well, and so really appreciate the feelings about about how is that young person going to enter industry. Now we must be fair. We mustn't compare three years at another university with four years at Harper. We've got to compare four years against four years. Yep. But what the placement year will provide our undergraduates is support. Yep. We've got employers queuing up to employ them. Yep. We've got staff uh, who are employed to prepare them uh, for their applications for their uh, placement year, to support them during their placement year and also to make sure as best we can that they learn lots from their placement year. Yep. Compare that with an undergraduate being released from university after three years, you're on your own, yep. you've got to do it yourself. Yep. Uh, so I think the four years against four years, there is a lot of value yeah. uh, for a supported placement as part of your undergraduate yep. degree. There, there you go. You've heard, heard it there, Mr. Parent from from, uh, from Barry St. Edmunds. So, Alistair, you're an ex-student. You're, you're a, a lecturer here. You've got kids here. Sum up Harper Adams University in a sentence. Um, the kids aren't, aren't here, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> I, much as I, they, they didn't want to be uh, right, where I am. <laughs> Um, uh, for me, uh, Harper Adams has changed so much. It's developed into lots of different uh, course areas, but something has remained the same, which is the culture of support and learning. And there is a reason why employers want our uh, students when they graduate, graduate, partly the placement and partly the attitude that they bring yeah. to university and that they develop at Harper Adams. Yeah, I just remember my old course lecturer, he said to me, I hope there's no students watching this, he said to me on the last day when I graduated, he said, uh, coming here was 90% learning about life and 10% work. And the combination of Harper and my placement <laughs> made me into what I am today. But, but that's why, why we're really keen to... We can't get it right all the time. Uh, <laughs> But that's why Harper just is just is, is just such a shining beacon within agriculture, horticulture, fresh produce, livestock within the UK and internationally. Am I correct? You're absolutely correct, and we look forward to working with fresh produce employers from around the world.